Well, hello everyone. Sorry for the long not uploading for three weeks. It was because I was moving out to another country slash another moving house. So yeah, today I'm doing a Genshin content. A boring old teapot content. Well, tomorrow I'm gonna do the Inazuma content. Maybe at night time because I just moved and I'm looking at countries. Well, Chi Chi, can you please not? I'm trying to do an intro. Well, yeah, sorry for the three weeks not upload. It was because I was moving. At the three days, I was sick. And then we started packing our bags. And then we moved to another country. Yeah. Well, yeah, let's do the boring teapot now. Yeah. I also switched accounts because I don't know why. I. I I thought I would get nothing good, but I got something good. Well, the old recording app I used was like, it wouldn't record anything I talked or any gameplays, and it wouldn't even give me the sound of it. So yeah, I stopped recording on that and then later on this. The one where I used on my old phone and also my- Please, Chi Chi. Please, Chi Chi. This is- This is- this, uh, Well, whatever. Let's talk to this guy. Hello, Mr. Crossel. How's business been? Oh, good. Very good. All things to your advice, Miss Yanfei. What brings you here today? <laughs> You're too kind. I was simply doing my job. Now, I believe that the last time we met, you mentioned that you were looking to source some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins. Have there been any further developments on this front? Uh, well... Yes, as a matter of fact, uh, in the end, I did acquire a small piece of Smaragdus Jadeite. Really? And had it into did a you? Of hair pins. Miss Yen, did you? Might I presume that you have an interest in the hairpins? I must apologize. I've already rented them out to a lady named Zhu Chiao. Zhu Chiao. If you to inspect them, you may have to wait quite some time. Wait, isn't Smaragdus Jadeite really rare? Aren't you worried about the hairpins getting damaged or lost while they're being rented out? No, I'm not worried in the slightest because I signed a contract with Ms. Zhu Chiao before renting them to her. The contract makes it quite clear that if she loses or damages the item in question, she must compensate me for its full original value. Oh, dang. In return, I included a clause that guarantees the Smaragdus Jadeite is genuine, with a penalty of ten times the item's value payable by me. Miss Chu Chiao in the event that it is shown to be a fake. No, no, I've been there. Oh. Guaranteed genuine, with ten times the value payable if this claim is shown to be false. Yes, these terms are very clear indeed. Of course. This way, both the client and I have the assurance we need. To ensure fairness, each of us has retained an original copy of the contract. In that case, might you know where Miss Chu Chiao lives? We'd like to pay her a visit and have a look at the hairpins. Oh, of course. She wrote her address down when we signed our contract. Here, I'll address. mark it on your map for you. Thanks a lot, Mr. Crossel. We'll be off now. Oh, whatever shall I do? Excuse me, are you... I already forgot the name. God damn it. Y yes, that's me. Is there something I can help you with? <laughs> Well, no. How do you do, Mr. Chow? We understand from Mr. Crossel that you recently rented a pair of hairpins from him. My associates and I are very interested in them. Would you mind letting us take a look at them? I'm not interested. In I mean, I can't lend them to you right now. I, I've lost them. Dang. I don't know how it could have happened. I always kept them right by my side, and I hadn't even worn them yet. I spent so much money on them. If I have to pay their original value, there's no way I could come up with that amount of money on such short notice. Why did you need them in the first place? Yeah, why did you need those expensive things? <laughs> I would just rather wear what works, man. I mean, woman. I... My family is in the ore business, too. But business has been suffering ever since the chasm was sealed off. Dang. We now have a backlog of paid-up orders just sitting around... 
So we've been having to purchase some stock from other ore merchants to complete them. A big banquet is coming up in a few days, and several ore merchants I know of will be there. I need this opportunity to mingle and discuss prices. And that's what the hairpins were for, to... Well, to keep up appearances. I can't have them looking down on me. But now that I've lost the hairpins, what will I do? Mm. Why does Paimon have a sudden strong sense of deja vu? Deja vu. <laughs> Maybe because this is the part where we say we can help. <laughs> Why? Would you really? I sent a commission to the Adventurers Guild, but I haven't heard anything back from them yet. Hold on. Don't run off looking for the hairpins just yet. Mr. Chow. Would you let me have a look at the rental contract you signed? Huh? Well, I mean, sure, I have it right here. Here you are. Let me see. Hmm. That's right! Yanfei said she's a legal advisor, didn't she? Maybe she can help Jichao somehow. That would be a little unfair to... Kuros, whatever. True. very clear and they do indeed stipulate that you must pay mr. Crossel the original value of the hairpins as compensation for the loss Whoa. furthermore the contract also expressly states that the amount of compensation must take current market prices into account and given the rarity of smaragdus jadeite I fear that the final amount of compensation may end up being significantly higher as a result even higher what oh. Jichou looks like she's about to faint. However, all of this is assuming that it is indeed genuine Smaragdus Jadeite that was inlaid into the hairpins. Did you really have to pause before saying that part? Anyway, the hairpins are lost, so how exactly would we be able to find out if the Jadeite is genuine or not? Whichever way you look at it, we've got to start by finding those hairpins. Except that if we found the hairpins, There'd no longer be any need to check whether the Jadeite is genuine, would there? Mm. Uh, seems right. Please. Please, I... Don't trouble yourselves over this. The fact is, I lost the item and I should pay compensation per the contract. It's such a huge sum of money, though. However much it is, I will have to pay it. My family are merchants, after all. It's vital that we keep our word and respect our contracts. Now that it's come to this, I really shouldn't keep Crossel in the dark any longer. I'll go and inform him of the issue and then negotiate the amount of compensation. Mm, yes, mm. legally speaking, it seems this is the most sensible course of action. But before that, I have some questions about the hairpins. So hold on a moment, Mr. Chow. When you first touched the hairpins, what did you feel? What did I feel? Well, I remember that the gemstones set into the pins were perfectly smooth to the touch, like the finest quality jade. My family has seen much jade pass through its hands in the past, so I am quite certain of my judgment in this matter. Hmm. Smooth to the touch. Finest quality jade. Is something the matter? No, it's nothing. I just need to re-examine a few things. Let's head over to Mr. Crossel's. Huh. I guess we gotta go talk to these three people. Yay. Well, after you get, I guess, teapot, you at least get something. And also, look at this. I'm level 23. So don't expect anything good I have. Ah, Miss Yanfei, you've returned. Is Ju Chao and Toad? Hmm. Oh, sorry. About that. So, release the lost stuff. You lost them? Are you serious? Do you have any idea how expensive they were? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Truly, I am. I'll pay the compensation as per our contract. Every last Mora. Mora? 
Do you have any idea what I had to go through to get my hands on that Smaragdus Jadeite? Mm. I, I just don't... <sighs> forget it. <laughs> Talking won't bring them back. Since Miss Yanbei is here, I suppose we can just have her estimate the amount that needs to be paid. Yanbei. No problem. But before I can give an official estimate, I'll need to do a little market research. Ah, yes. And if I may just confirm again... It was, in fact, genuine Smaragdus Jedi inlaid into the hairpins, correct? Of course. Genuine article guaranteed, or I pay back ten times the value. Ten times? All right, understood. I'll conduct some market research, and once I'm back, I'll provide an official assessment of the sum owed by Mr. Chow in compensation. Please wait here, Mr. Crossell. Thank you very much. <laughs> How could she lose my hairpins? She better pay every last mora that they're worth. Looks like I'll have to find some way to raise that money. Dang. Please wait, Mr. Chow. I have something to discuss with you. It's not convenient to speak here, so let's find somewhere that we can sit and talk in more detail. We can sit? I mean... I can give her my more. I don't have too much. Well, whatever. Wait, wait. Let me count that real quick. That's 800k. Bro, bro, how do I give her money? Tell me. I want to help her. I'm not that guy, get lost, like, kind of dude. I'm like that who uh, genuinely helps people. Well, if I don't really have money. Well, yeah. What the hell? Okay, now let's go up here if we can. Out. Are you... Are you here to tell me how much I owe? No. no. What I wanted to talk about is, there is a chance that the Orin laid on those hairpins may not be Smaragdus Jadeite after all. Let's put... You know what? I'm just gonna call it Smaragdus... Uh, look. I don't know how to say it, okay? Not whatever, really. <laughs> Obviously not. I'm no adventurer, let alone a member of the guild. I don't run thankless, time-consuming errands for a living. Let's just say I made some deductions. I don't know if Granny told you this, but Smaragdus Jadeite is found deep underground and contains very concentrated elemental energy. What? If mere mortals come into contact with it, well, they'll be sick in the best case. And in the worst case, they could even experience a dramatic change of personality. Dang. It most certainly would not be smooth to the touch. Mm. Mr. Chow, did you at any time feel unwell while the hairpins were in your possession? No, not at all. I felt perfectly fine the whole time. Not even the slightest bit unwell. I didn't feel anything special at all, in fact. Hmm. Now that is strange. I noticed earlier that there were elemental traces in Mr. Crossell's vicinity. If I have deduced correctly, he may still have the Smaragdus Jadeite in his possession. If that's the case, we should go confront him right now and expose his dirty scam- Absolutely not. If we were to confront him now, there's no way he would admit to it. Eventually, he would find some argument to compel us to leave. Sorry, I didn't want to hear Paimon's. The last thing I don't remember. <laughs> I always forget everything, man. And then he throw the Smaragdus Jadeite into the sea the moment we were gone. Mm. After that, he would simply insist that Mr. Chow pay up per the contract. He would lose nothing. Meanwhile, we would have to look under every stone in Liyue, hoping and praying that the hairpins do actually still exist somewhere in this world. A very... Vid... Vid... <sighs> okay, I gotta get smart. A very with with this point. So vivid that Paimon thinks it might be experience talking. Oh, it certainly is. I've seen my fair share of situations like this, and brute force methods are certainly one way of resolving them. Fortunately, I have far more elegant <coughs> solutions at my disposal. I'll share them with you in due course. Well then. Since you're so experienced in dealing with problems like this, perhaps you could help me, Miss Yunfei. Oh, that won't be a problem. But first, Mr. Chow, can I ask you to please sign this contract? Is he gonna huh? scam her? Does there have to be a contract for everything? Paimon can't even keep track. 
Well, in the real world, it's true. When I came to this country, we had to contract, to contract, to contract, to contract. So you might think traveling to country to country is normal. But no, you have to sign contract to contract if you want to live there. That's the thing. If I had one one more of four... Okay, I gotta stop being dumb. If I had one more of four... Every, every time I hear the word con contract. Just like Kante is even more concerned with them than a certain someone else we know. These are my formal terms of engagement. Everything prior to now has just been pro bono advice. But for me to investigate any further, I require a written contract. Any work commissioned but not bound by a contract cannot be relied upon. I understand. Then I will be glad to place this matter into your capable hands if you will take it, Miss Yunfei. No problem. Just sign here, and I'll sign too. Okay. Now write your address here, and then sign on this page as well. <laughs> and like what? I'll also need your signatures on pages five, seven, and on the very last page. Finally, if you could just use this ink pad to make a handprint over here. <sighs> So it's an ordinary... Alright, that should do it. My fees are the same as always, and they're written in the contract. Have a look through, and let me know if you have any questions. Pigeons. I've had a read through. Everything checks out. Well then, here's your copy of the contract. I will retain the other copy. Need me to do anything? Not for now, no. Despite how intractable this problem might sound, it will actually be quite straightforward to resolve, once we've got some things squared away. I don't eyes. believe you have been part of an investigation like this before. In no. which case, hopefully this should be quite the experience. Yes. Miss Yunfei, I have to ask, why are you helping me? Because we because, can. Because, as it happens, I'm currently trying to acquire some Smaragdus Jadeite myself. I notice strong traces of geoenergy around Mr. Crossel, so perhaps he has, in fact, secured some. Geo Whether God. he actually made it into an item of jewelry or not is a separate matter. But either way, it's a lead. As long as we follow it, who knows? We might just be able to get our hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite. Also, the idea of someone abusing the law to their advantage, I won't stand for it. Oh. But again, let's not dwell on this. Let's go to... Hmm. Where can we find someone who processes ore? Ore. Ha! Ah, I've got it! Let's pay a visit to Shito, the boss of the Jade Mystery. He's a professional when it comes to working with stone and ore. If Mr. Crossel <sighs> had his ore worked on at all, Shito would undoubtedly have been his first choice. Wait. He's right behind there. What the pigeons? Pigeons. Wave. Oh my god, I have. Pigeons! Oh. Ah, I wish I could have something that good. Oh yeah. Why, hello there, honored customers. Welcome to. Oh, it, it, it's you, Miss Yenfei. Is 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 something the matter? Surely not more spurious claims that that my jade betting is rigged and, and no one can ever win. I swear on all that is sacred. No, nothing of the sort. Mm. Has a Snesh 9 merchant named Crossel enlisted your ore processing services recently by any chance? A Snesh 9 merchant named Crossel, you say? I do remember that. He brought me a piece of ore, claiming that it was Smaragdus Jadeite. That was the first time I'd ever encountered it, so I had no way of telling if it was really Smaragdus Jadeite or not. But if a customer insists, far be it from me to contradict them. He was quite generous with his money, too, so I didn't give it too much thought. I processed the ore as per his request. Hmm. hmm. Do you have any leftover debris from your work on it? Why, yes. It was my first time encountering this ore, after all, so I kept a few loose shavings to study myself later. They're right over there, in fact. Okay. Is that emeralds from Minecraft? Thank you, sir. We'll take a look at them.
are those di are those emeralds they kind of look like whatever Nets. Okay, whatever. Yes, it's not particularly rare, nor is it especially valuable. It's used to make jewelry all the time. I've heard it huh? said that Smaragdus Nephrite is in fact the outer layer of Smaragdus Jadeite, though no one's ever proven it. A thin layer of separation, huh? If you must see for yourself, try examining these shavings for traces of elemental energy. Smaragdus nephrite is an entirely ordinary ore, containing no elemental energy whatsoever. Is that so? Well, we might as well give elemental sight a shot. So, did you find no. anything? <laughs> it just turns... It doesn't even let me, like, press it, whatever. Not a track of element energy. So they really are different. But wait, how come Jichou was able to tell what it was just by looking at the shards? That's pretty awesome. No. There's nothing special to it. It just so happens that I've come across a great many of these in my time. Why? Okay. I gotta pronounce this. She tell tell them apart. Tell them apart. Whatever. Well, these two stones actually look very similar. Someone without a deep understanding of them would find it very difficult to tell them apart. There may be only a subtle difference for the casual viewer, but that translates to an astronomical difference in terms of what the market the? price. And, I'm sure, a significant difference in the cost of having them carved into shape. Alright, let's focus up. We're going off on a tangent. But, never mind, Shirto. Why would Mr. Crossel... <sighs> unusual actions have unusual reasons behind them. Let's take some of these shavings back to Chateau. Huh. Emeralds. Well, I noticed I have this. I don't remember when I got it. Whoa. Oh wait, I was about to say we, we have to go on another long walk. Miss Yenfei? Might I be so bold as to inquire? Um if you could just confirm for me once more, sir, Mr. Crossel did indeed claim that the ore he brought to your store was, in fact, Smaragdus Jadeite, did he not? Uh, yes, that's right. I still have a record of the job with me, in fact. Um, here, it says quite clearly, uh, one chunk Smaragdus Jadeite, uncut. Huh. Then I have no further questions. But could I borrow the processing record and the stone shavings? Of course. But might I ask why you need them? Suspicion. Oh, I have my reasons. Ah, yes. Please sign here on this affidavit. This document shall serve as signed proof that these stone shavings originated from the, uh, ore that Mr. Crossel brought to your store. Please read it carefully. Hmm. Yes, I see. I see. <laughs> Forgive me for asking again, Miss Yenfei, but might I know the nature of the incident on this occasion? Nothing. I wouldn't say there's been an incident. Just a minor issue. Thank you, sir. I'll take these with me. With this hard evidence to back us up, Crusoe will dare try to deny what he did. On the contrary, this is far from sufficient to build a case. We need to find something a little more compelling. If you want to make jewelry, you need a professional jewel smith. Let me think. Jewelry. Jewelry. Mm, nope. Aha! Got it! Sing Sing. She often helps people to Wait. find a jewel smith. Let's go pay her a visit. How did she disappear that book? Never mind, it's just a game. Well, that was quick. How come you know so many people? Because lots of people come to me for legal advice every day. Legal? As you know. Liyue Harbor is the city of contracts, and contracts, well, I should say laws, are very important to us. But the amendments made by the Tianchuan to our laws are unnecessarily complicated. How can I put this? It just seems like they're hard to understand and impossible to finish. As such, legal advisors like myself provide quite the popular service indeed. So you help them make sense of the law? But didn't you say that it's hard to understand and impossible to finish? 
Grandma's Guess right what? there. That, that's no obstacle because I've memorized all the legal codices. You memorized them? Yep. <laughs> you sound surprised. Knowing the law inside out is a legal advisor's bread and butter, you know? This is how adapting because so adopting at everything. Why? Why am I so dumb? Oh, this has nothing to do with being an adeptus. I just like reading things. Adeptus. Adeptus. Xing Xi. What? Well, whatever. This is right there. What are you looking at? I am. I am the Adventurers Guild person. Whatever. It's you. Has something happened? Did the client from last time uh, have no further trouble from then on? Yes, of course. I'm just here to ask you a few questions. Yes. Has a merchant by the name of Crossel asked you to put him in contact with a jewelsmith recently? No, Crossel. I don't. Yes, I remember him. He's a merchant from Snezhnaya, no? Yeah, he came to me with a chunk of something he called Smaragdus Jadeite. The design what? of the hairpins that he gave me was quite intricate, so it took me some work to find someone who was up to the job. Eventually, I found an older jewelsmith who made them exactly according to his specifications. Oh. This order was on hold for a very long time, and only completed quite recently, which is why I remember it so well. Doesn't seem like there's any evidence to be found here. Miss Sinksy, I'd like for you to confirm for me once more. When Mr. Crossell commissioned you to find him a jewel smith, did he or did he not assert that the material he presented to you that day was called Smaragdus Jadeite? Yes, Dang. I'm sure of it. The hairpins were made using many expensive materials, and the asking price was quite high, so we had to put this transaction on record with the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Mr. Crossell wasn't very familiar with the necessary procedures, so I filed it on his behalf. I also kept a copy for my own records. See for yourself. The item is called Smaragdus Jadeite Twin Phoenix Pins. The inlay Phoenix. gemstone is recorded as Smaragdus Jadeite. The document even has the official seal of the ministry on it. Thank you, Sinksy. Now, could you let me borrow this document? Sure. It isn't serving much purpose here anyway. I take it then that there's been some more trouble? Nothing um. you need to worry about. Just a minor issue. I'll return your document as soon as I'm done with it. Thanks again. Okay. Why everyone's first reaction always to assume someone or something is in trouble. Must be the neutral of legal. C uh, whatever. Hmm. I believe we have almost all the evidence we need. We just need to make one last trip. Let's go to Boo Boo Pharmacy to speak with Dr. Baiju. Baiju. The weirdo with the snake around his neck? What do you want to speak to him for? Because only he can provide an authoritative statement confirming that Smaragdus Jadeite is harmful to the human body. Once we have this final piece of evidence in our hands, we can wrap this case up. Huh. So this is gonna take some time. Oh. <coughs> what the? Why am I in front of you? Whatever. My, my. To what do I owe the pleasure? Though I'm afraid that if you're looking for our little Chi Chi, she's out gathering herbs. Chi Chi. It isn't Miss Yenfei as well. Now that's an even rarer honor. What business brings you here, might I inquire? Some Nothing. charlatans peddling ineffectual medicines again, no doubt? No. No, no. I'm here this time to ask if you're familiar with Smaragdus Jadeite. Smaragdus Jadeite? Why, yes, there is some information about it included in the sixth commentary on the Seven Mountain Treatises. The Seven Mountain Treatises states that this substance springs forth from stone marrow within the mountains and will bring disaster to any mere mortals who touch it. 
Day. It is abundant in elemental energy, so Oops. if someone without a vision is in contact with it for a prolonged period, best case scenario, they fall ill. Worst case scenario, they'll suffer great changes in personality and their illness will only ever get worse. Anyway, I'm sure you didn't come all this way just to chit chat. Knowing you, Yenfei, and given the specific nature of your question, I suppose that you're about to ask me to write an official affidavit attesting to the pharmaceutical peculiarities of Smaragdus Jadeite? Yes. That is indeed the case. Whatever. If you would be so kind, Dr. Baiju. No trouble at all. It's just a single document. Won't take me a moment. I would mention, though, that you are not the only one who's developed a curiosity for Smaragdus Jadeite recently. A Snezhnayan merchant came to ask me about it not long ago. But after I gave him my reply, his expression shifted to one of remarkable disappointment. Yep. I wonder, Miss Yenfei, if your pressing business might be related to the Snezhnayan merchant? Ah, you needn't concern yourself about that, Dr. Baiju. Thank you for penning us that document. I'll make sure to compensate you in due course. Game. You're too kind. Take care now. Too kind. Paimon, you know that he's right here? Paimon. He's right here, he can listen to you, whatever. Mm. Wait, do I have to talk to him? I thought it would open a automatic cutscene, whatever. No. Not to you, goodbye. Goodbye. Con oh. Him. There we go. Miss Yanfei, have you finished your investigation? I trust you will now be in a position to assess the compensation due. Yes, my investigation is indeed concluded. I can now provide a final figure for the amount payable. Okay. Wonderful. Well then, please, could you do the honors, Miss Yanfei? Of course. Ahem, <clears throat> according to the stipulations of the contract. Mr. Crossell. You must pay Mr. Chow ten times the original transaction price in Mora. What? Sure. Wait, what? M me pay her? Surely there's been some kind of mistake, Miss Yanfei. What? Not at all. Mm. According to my investigations and the material evidence that we've gathered, the substance claimed to be Smaragdus Jadeite that was inlaid within the Smaragdus Jadeite twin Phoenix pins that you rented out to Mr. Chow was, in fact, Smaragdus Nephrite. Mm. Now, the contract states very clearly that ten times the price shall be paid should the article not be genuine. Accordingly, you are liable for this sum, which is payable to Mr. Chow in Mora. Dang. Material evidence? What material evidence? Why, Miss Yanfei, you cannot frame me like this. I spent a huge sum to obtain that Sparagdus Jadeite, and yet you claim that the ore inlaid on the hairpins is somehow fake? I demand to see your evidence. Well, uh... Indeed. Only a testimony from an expert witness involved in the processing of the ore can serve as an authoritative assessment of whether it is genuine. Traveler, please produce the evidence in question. Uh, which one is it? I don't want to get the wrong one. Are they all the right ones? Boob. <laughs> Boob. <laughs> if we want to determine whether the ore is genuine. <clears throat> if we want to de This is a processing oh record from the Jade Mystery, along with stone samples and an affidavit signed by the business owner, Chateau. Seriously? Mm. Even the boss there couldn't differentiate between Smaragdus Jadeite and Smaragdus Nephrite. How does this prove anything? In any case, Smaragdus Nephrite is the outer layer of Smaragdus Jadeite. So I had him cut away the Nephrite, he returned the valuable Jadeite core to me, and some Nephrite samples remain in the store. What am I missing exactly? Th Nothing. That's an unsubstantiated belief. Well, your claim that my ore is fake is just as unsubstantiated. And we are here to talk about evidence, aren't we? Hmm. <sighs> Looks like our first piece of evidence didn't convince him at all. Seems like he came prepared. What should we do next? Uh, Hard evidence. Something legally binding.
finding. Oh, come on. I meant the backup copy of the document from the Ministry of Civil Affairs. The one we got from Sinxi of Mingxing Jewelry. Oh. <laughs> this document proves that my hairpins are the real deal, doesn't it? This is the Ministry's seal, after all. It shows that the ore inlaid on the pins is indeed Smaragdus Jadeite. Our second piece of evidence didn't work either. And this guy's getting more belligerent by the second. Hmm. You know, you could be right. Perhaps the hairpins are the real deal after all. Of course I'm right. All the evidence shown supports my story. Well, hang on a moment now. Because what? I do recall one final piece of evidence mm. that we haven't revealed yet. Traveler. Would you do the honors? Her face. This shall serve as decisive proof of our case. What will he say? What will she say if we pick the wrong one? I'm referring to the affidavit signed by Dr. Baiju of Bubu Pharmacy. Now, if you would be so kind as to bring it out, traveler. Okay. Wh what's this? Smaragdus Jadeite springs forth from stone marrow within the mountains and will bring disaster to any mere mortals who touch it. Sustained contact with Smaragdus Jadeite over a prolonged period will, in less serious cases, cause a mild malady, while in serious cases, the patient may suffer a dramatic change of personality and fall seriously ill. Hmm. Mr. Crossel, Why? are you aware of these peculiar properties of Smaragdus Jadeite? I... I had no idea. No idea, you say? Hmm, I'd guessed as much. But for you to have rented out such a dangerous item... I'm afraid that this falls outside the scope of my work, but within that of the Ministry of Civil Affairs. However, mm. I'm sure that the Ministry will be relatively lenient, considering that, as you say, you were ignorant of the danger you posed. Dang. Don't worry, Mr. Crossel. I will make sure that all the evidence presented here will be handed over to the Ministry. Ooh. I trust that you'll give them your full cooperation in their investigations. What? Wait, wait! I... I knew. Oh, so you knew? <laughs> oh, dear, Mr. Crossel. But if you knew of Smaragdus Jadeite's dangerous properties beforehand, why would you... Huh? No, I... <sighs> the hairpins aren't actually... Aren't actually inlaid with genuine Smaragdus Jadeite? Is that what you were about to say? Yep. You do understand, Mr. Crossel, that this means that you will have to pay Mr. Chow ten times the original price in Mora? Mm. Mr. Crossel, your answer, please. My client and I are waiting. Yep. I... 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 Yampi's seriously intimidating right now. It's like she's a different person. Yes, she is. Again, the legal contract contradiction whatever for you I admit it I confess the ore I had in laid on those hairpins was was Maragdus nephrite but I'm a victim in all of this too I invested a great deal of time and money into acquiring that small amount of Maragdus jadeite in the hopes of turning it into a piece of jewelry that would fetch a fine price but after receiving it and carrying it around for a few days I started to feel extreme discomfort. I couldn't sleep a wink or eat a single bite. I... I was in a constant state of agitation, too. I went to Boo Pharmacy to get myself checked out, only to discover that this sort of stone cannot be worn as jewelry. But how could I let all that money go to waste? That's why I had another pair of hairpins made from Smaragdus Nephrite, which is almost indistinguishable from Smaragdus Jadeite. Hmm. I kept the real Smaragdus Jadeite in a specially made box. I daren't touch it again. I was worried that someone would see through it, which is why I only dared to rent them out, not sell them. And then to top it all off, Chichao lost the hairpins after I rented them out to her. So why did you change Zinchao such an expensive rent price? Price? Why am I so dumb? Hmm. I didn't want to either, but when I purchased that Smaragdus Jadeite, some of my business partners found out. I knew they'd be watching closely to see how much I could make off it. If word got out that I sold a pair of fake hairpins, then my days in this line of business would be over. 
Yep. All right. Let's cut the appeals phase what right there. What the hell was a phase? I failed to see what bearing any of this has on your transaction with my client. According to the contract, you must pay Mr. Chow ten times the original price in Mora, and that is final. Yep. Ten, ten times? Crozo looks like he could faint any second. As for me, according to my contract with Mr. Chow, 20% of that sum will go to me. 20%? That's as much as I spent on that Smaragdus Jadeite. Dang. Um, there's no need. It's fine. You don't have to pay me that much, Mora. Even if the Smaragdus Jadeite on those hairpins was fake, I still bear responsibility for losing them. Legally or not, I think I owe some compensation for that. No. Mr. Cho, you... However, Mr. Crossel, since you have no use for that chunk of Smaragdus Jadeite, why don't you give it to me instead? I'll consider us even. What? But I... All right, then. This cursed rock's brought me enough grief as it is. Yep. Miss Yenfei, I'll turn this Maractus Jadeite over to you. I trust that it will suffice as remuneration? Well, um, that's mm. not quite how the rules say this should go. Wait. But whatever. It'll do. Her hands? She has a tattoo of the Triforce, but upside down. Is she from... Wait. That hat. Never mind, whatever. Thanks so much for your help this time, Miss Yunfei. But when you have the time, I'll be sure to visit and express my thanks more appropriately. Mm. Oh, come on. No need to stand on ceremony. Now, if I may confirm this again, Mr. Chow, have you and Mr. Crossel come Chow? to an understanding? Hmm? Well, yes, I believe we have. Well then, that's good. Mr. Crossel, it seems that my client has no further claims against you. What is that face? Is that so? That's good. That's good. Actually, Mr. Crossel, I'd like to talk business for a second, if I may. Business. I could see from the hairpins you produce that you're very skilled in jewelry design. My family, on the other hand, works in the ore business, and we have a fair stock of fine ores. Mm. If we could join forces, your jewelry designs and our choice ores, I think we could do some fine business between us. Business. I, uh, let me think for a moment. No. Huh. Well, that's that. And we've got the Smaragdus Jadeite that Granny wants too. All's well that ends well, eh? Wait, so this is the end of the story of the teapot quest? Well, ugh, it's already half an hour. Wait, is it? Never mind. Yes, though, there were some twists and turns against along the way. Exactly. Usually when someone tells us they've lost something, we end up searching all over the place for it. Yes. Can you join my team? Uh, even though the solution didn't involve actually finding the hairpins. Yeah. The right solution depends on your perspective on the problem. The objective of my client, Mr. Chow, was to reduce her liability to pay compensation. So, rather than looking high and low for some hairpins, proving that the rented item was nowhere near worth what the vendor had claimed it to be was the more efficient solution. Can't you say I even met an... Adaptus like we you'd bef before Okay An Adeptus Speaking of, you took part in that battle, didn't you? In which case, you would have heard what Granny said. Yep. Liuai Harbor is now a city ruled by humans. The title of Adeptus means precious little to me compared to my job as a legal advisor. Legal In any case. Don't you think that the Liyue Harbor of what? today needs legal consultancy far more the than graphics. it needs adeptal powers? Graphic is loading. I think of someone who would definitely disagree with your reasoning. I think there is more than just reasoning. Invest here, Fi Paimon. Paimon. <laughs> well, since we got what we came for, it's time to pay Granny a visit. I bet she's been on what tender hooks for a while now. Can people stop? Who's that? No, I don't want you. Well, granny time. Well, where she talks about... I'll put it on the screen, I don't want to talk about it. Hey, granny. What's, it? What's going? Why don't you look back? Before you go to your 
bitch. Oh my god. No! This was a bad thing. Whatever. Let's go. Ah, you've returned. How did it go? Were you able to find the Smaragdus Jadeite? We were thanks to Yenbei. Good, good. Then we have all the materials we need. Well, if we're all set, Granny, I'll get going now. Got a ton of clients waiting for me back at the office. Office? Oh, you. All right, then. Go see to your business. Granny should be able to handle the rest. Yeah. I'm off then. Bye. Oh, yes, Traveler. Make sure you don't lose the business card I gave you. Okay. I've been looking into the laws of other nations as well. If you should ever bump into any trouble with the law, come find me directly. Regulars get discounts, too. Come now, child. Are you leaving or are you not? If you have no wish to leave, perhaps you'd like to help me clean my teapot. Mm. Mm. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <sighs> <sighs> that child. Goodness knows where she learned to be so rambunctious. Her father was hardly so riotous or fond of talking nonsense back in the day when he stood beside Rex Lapis. A uh, trusty and un equipped adaptus. <sighs> Whatever. Indeed she is. Liu has changed, and the Adepti must also learn to change. Yan mm -hmm. Fei might be overly garrulous, but she is also the most intimately acquainted with the city among us all. Among us. Uh, okay, Liu mind. is all right then. Uh, let us speak of this no more. Back on topic. I believe that I still owe you a little gift. Give me the teapot. Oh, Paimon's so excited! How is it made? And how long does it take? <laughs> it is but a single teapot. It shan't take long at all. Just wait here for a moment. Okay. Many pings before a contract's letter. <gasps> There we go. Yes. This serenity pot is serenity all yours pot. now. Hold it firmly. If you were to drop it, oh goodness, who knows what might happen? Nothing. Take these blueprints with you as well. You'll need them if you wish to make your teapot a little more lively inside. Wait, why don't we talk about? Wait, we can go inside. Why can't we talk about that? We just say thanks, Granny. Whatever. Wait a minute, Granny. How exactly are we supposed to use this teapot? Yeah. Oh, you needn't worry about that. I've already arranged for a certain little helper to await you within this teapot. She oh. will explain everything you need to know about it. She? Teapot. Saran teapot unlocked. Yeah. Uh, oops, wrong one. Oh wait, this. <sighs> I got my palm on. Place. Oh, no, no, Bennett. <gasps> Ooh, we can select one. I don't wanna go up in the sky and just fall off. Cool one, because I'm not cool. Because I wanna look cool and. Look, whatever. Because it's called cool. And then, like, cool. Loading screen. Oh my god. Can we just get through this? Another one? Oh my god, the brightness. Can we have, like, a dark mode option? Please? Get changing, Paimon. You could scavenge us a wild house out of the rock. Go dig a business to live in. In for now, I guess. Paimon can't do that. Uh, well, you're the one with the sword anyway. You do it. Still, How about you learn the sword? Why is it so empty here apart from that house? Paimon, how about you learn the seven tricks of the lightsabers? 
I can teach you everything. You can become a sword master, like... Never mind. Oh, wait a second. What is that? That's your mom. Okay, I'm sorry for that. Look, I'm sorry for that. What's this? Notification. Whatever, I'll claim that later. For now, let's go. Hiya! Uh. Well, it seems that we have a visitor. It's a huge finch! Excuse me, I am not a finch. I am a teapot spirit, and you may call me... Oops, oops, not that. No, no, do not show that. Please. Okay, thank you, phone. I guess the twin you pick, if you pick the boy, it will give you the boy one. If you pick the girl, you g it will give you the girl one. Well, <sighs> the girl was a mistake. Um, hang on a moment. What am I supposed to be called again? Uh, I don't know. Oh, call me. I suppose you may call me Tubby. Tubby. Tubby Wobby. You currently look like the part. So you're the little helper, Madam Ping mentioned? Yeah. Madam Ping? Oh, you must mean Ping. Yes, she did summon me here. Dang. She told me much about you. Oh. You may leave all matters regarding the upkeep of this realm to me. Your journey may be far from over. But at least this way, you will not want for a comfortable place to sleep each night. We go on adventures all the time. We don't even f sleep. What do you mean, sleep? We just pass the time by the con time control watch. Whatever. So what a teapot spirit explains. Though it is the Adepti who create realms such as this, they generally do not have the time of day to attend to the banal matter of their maintenance. Thus, we teapot spirits were created to help guard their realms and manage their affairs. You may consider me a butler, if you will. Butler. Now, allow me to explain this realm to you. Have you any blueprints on you? Specifically, blueprints with beautiful rooms, chairs, and the like. Yes. As long as you have a blueprint, you can refashion this realm however you please. Blueprints? Blueprints. Oh, that's right! Granny handed us some when she gave us the teapot, didn't she? Yes. Let's take them out and have a look. Hmm. Yes, these are the blueprints I'm talking about. Go on. Open them up. Just commit the image of the objects to memory and prepare the necessary materials. Then simply release the thought from your mind and the object in the blueprint shall appear within this teapot. Wow! Is that all it takes? No. Then we could build a whole city inside, couldn't we? No. Mm, I doubt it. A golden-eyed adeptus explained this to me at some point in the past. He said... That even though subspace creation is a product of adeptal power, even that has its limits. Yeah. This world is not a true one, after all. It provides merely a moment of brief respite from the mortal realm, not a means of escaping it entirely. A golden eyed adeptus? Paimon wonders who could that be? I hardly remember myself. What's more, I have never seen that Adeptus again since. How very strange. Well, let's not dwell on that. Have a look around. Best you get accustomed to this realm. If there's anything you would like to ask, just look for me. Hmm. Well, you can read all of this bullcrap if you want up in this slow scroll. No, get your own one. I don't care. I just lost it, whatever. Where is this? Oh. Well then. Empty field, that's all I want. Well then, I'm kinda done with the outside. Not really, I just put random things. Well, I seem like people go inside the mansion, so let's see. Because I just put in trees to look at more lively than that crap. 
Hmm. Intro. Oh. Wait, what options do we get actually? My voice sounds very deep because it's already late. Let me see. Tables. I'm just new to this crap. Paimon. 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 Paimon thinks this is empty. Paimon. What do you think? Paimon thinks this everything is empty. Whatever. Well. Well then. Huh. Well, this is gonna be end of the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for getting this far, by the way. Many people don't get this far. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching this long. Chi Chi says, if you can like and subscribe, I'll make more videos. Well, I hope I can make the Inazuma video tomorrow because I have the quest, but I'm not going there yet. Because it's a good video idea. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next video or tomorrow maybe. See ya.